so hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i have the gorgeous nelly on my channel so you guys i'm going to be challenging myself to do something i've never done in my entire life before so i'm going to be installing frontal without lights without light you heard me so no hot comb no blow dryer no curler we're just going to dive into it so if this sounds like something you'll be interested in, this video is definitely for you and you need to keep watching. So step one, we're supposed to be blow drying the hair, but no blow dryer. So I'm just going to use my comb. So this is a wooden comb I use to brush. So we're just going to make it really smooth. Then after brushing, I'm going to then tie it down with this thread. So you just put the thread together and make sure it's thick to a level you can be able to use it to like tie without the thread cutting. I'm just going to carefully use my comb to like scatter what she did with her edge control. So thank God she used the wax edge control so it's not like a jelly edge control that will dry off and then when I'm trying to comb it out to now spoil her edges so i purposely didn't want to cover her with the cape we have a cape and a fine one a new one so i didn't want to cover her because i didn't want her to sweat so by the way they um it rained last night so the people who were supposed to be in charge of the gen i don't know if they had somebody over the night and they forgot that they were supposed to do their job and they left the gem open and water entered the gem so we find it difficult to get light and today i don't know in the whole of lekki there's no electricity like normal nepal light so we're struggling today so but we're ready to do the shoot for the day for today and i didn't want to you know tell the model to leave but we're still going to work with what we have today. So I'm just going to carefully brush the hair to make sure everything is smooth and clean. And then I'm going to tie it with my thread. So because I did something similar, like a ponytail frontal before, I didn't want to bring Nelly's own two up. So we're going to stick to somewhere here so not too up and not too down so it's just in between so also we're not going to be balding this hair because remember you will need light to bald so I'm going to then use my thread to tie it down. So you guys, you're going to hear me ask her if it's too tight. Please let me know if it's too tight. Yeah, just scream. Because I don't want us to be in the middle of making videos that you tell me, oh my God, it's too tight, I'm having a deck. So I don't want all that. So let's just tie. So you guys, that's what we have there. So I'm going to get my spray and then spray it on it. So I'll be using my Ultra Hold Spray. My forever favorite hold spray. I like how soft it is on the hair. It's not too harsh on the hair. So these are some of the things you guys don't get to hear in a video, like all the noises, the brush falling, you know, you don't get to hear all that. But today, I am up for all of us, so we're going to be hearing a lot of noises in the background. So I'm just using my edge control brush, so if you have a toothbrush, you can also use it. So I'm just using it to like tame the hairs down so it can look nice even it's 
So you guys, we're going to be cleaning the oil, the dirt, everything that has you know, stuck to her skin from her house to this place. So why I like to clean is because the glue functions well when it's on a clean surface. So you just clean, make sure. I know you guys might not see this, but this is actually, it has oil, oil stain on it because because of the dirt. Sorry, it has dirt stains on it because there's dirt on her skin. And Nelly has a very fine canvas to work with. See? You guys. So, I'm going to get another wipes and then put my skin protectant spray on it. So, the skin protectant spray I'll be working with is from the Love Beauty brand so i'm just going to i don't know where the pump is i can't start scratching or more you know easy to walk alone without a start <laughs> so <laughs> yeah so i'm just going to like pat it gently into her skin so you know the way you put your moisturizer you just pamper your skin yeah it's like that for front i tell people and they don't believe me so when you stress the skin where you're supposed to put the glue trust me to start breathing and when you start breathing it starts bringing out sweat because you're working on a, a skin it has pores on it so you don't need to pressurize it when you're cleaning or when you're applying um, the skin protectant spray so you just pat it like it's a baby you know so that's how it's done so the glue we're going to be working with is the hair by any glue so what I like to do is I like to clean the nozzle whether I use it on the person no, I don't use it. I still like to clean it so it can we cannot transfer what's it called to the other person's skin. So now I'm going to just tell her to turn like this and then I'm going to get the glue and then follow her hairline. So I know you guys cannot see it properly but just stopping where a little hairs started from on the hairline. So now I'm going to get my rattle comb and then rub it into the skin. After doing this part, we're going to hold on for it to clear first. So once it clears, if we're going to do a second application, fine. We're going to apply it, but we have to wait for it to clear. So we're done with this. So let's do this part. So look this way. Yeah. So if you guys if you guys can see here, yeah, I don't know, sorry, I don't know if you guys can see, Nelly has widow's feet, but not too much. It's not as um, visible as mine, but we're still going to try and give her a little widow's peak. Because the idea for a frontal installation is to mimic the person's um, hairline, so it can look like it's the person's hair. So, gone are the days where frontals look like frontals instead of looking like the person's actual hair or hairline rather. So now we're done with this side. So let's um, follow up with the one in front and then create speak so for this one I usually don't like to put the glue the way the hair is I just like to take it straight so it's when I apply the frontal I'll now cut it out 
the way I want him to look after his position. Okay, you guys, the glue has cleared already. So for this installation, I'm going to do just one application. So check this out. It has cleared. So let's check this other side out. You guys can see. So now we're going to find the middle of our hair, just like I do in all my videos, because you don't want to give one side too much and waste the front arm. So that's what most of us don't understand. So now I'm going to be laying, placing the front arm. So I already marked out the middle of this front arm. So I don't know if you guys can see this. So now let's place. I'm going to just bring this forward like that. So I'll ask my model to turn to the side. Then make sure no strand is underneath the thing between the front hole and the glue. So we're going to pull this forward a bit. So as you're pulling, you're patting it down so that it can stick to the lace. Then try as much as possible to always take out the strands in between. So I'm going to ask Nelly to kindly help me out here. So you just put a finger there, hold it down very well. Uh -huh. That's it. So we're going to do this other side. So as you go, you pack. Exposure is too much. Let me reduce it a bit. Since the sun came out too much. So now I'm going to, why she's um, holding on to that one. So why she's holding on to that one, I'm going to just turn her a bit and then take the front out from here and carefully stretch it out so we don't have any folding in front. So now I'm going to get my rat tail comb and just use it to like push the hairs backward. So as you're pushing, you're carefully pressing it down to her skin. So we're going to do this other side, like that. So now next step, we're going to get um, this band. So um, I got this band customized for me by um, CC Bonnet, African CC Bonnet on Instagram. So these guys, uh, hmm, their services, they're so calm, like, they're so professional, that's the word. You know when you meet some people who are trying to do things for you and they talk to you anyhow and all that, but these people didn't give me that energy. They were really nice when I contacted them. So you guys, if you want to get a custom made band and a cape please go to them so this is the cape they customized for me he has my name on it so this is what it looks like he has the signature on it so we're not using it today because it's really thick they used a very nice fabric to make it you know that thing they call um bridal satin that's what they actually used to make this um, cape 
So I don't want um, Nelly to be hot. That's why we're not using it today because the AC is not on and the the doors are open, so it's really hot here. So now we're going to be cutting out the excess lace on the um, frontal. So now let's take out the band carefully. So at first, this might look messy, but as you continue, like as you're working on it, you're going to look more like what you see on my Instagram page. So let's start cutting out the excess leaves from here. Let's take out this part because we don't have, want her to look like um, this guy from X Men. What's his name? <laughs> so we just follow it up. So it's up to you if you want to cut it zigzag, it's up to you. Then if you want to cut straight, it is up to you. So now let's just um, follow her nose and then get the middle. So let's do this other side. So one thing you should have in mind is when you're trying to customize the front half for someone, you're going to have to cut out excess lace because I mean that's why it's called a custom made frontal okay so you guys they just brought our light <laughs> but the challenge still continues. I want to break that record like Hilda. <laughs> ah. Okay, so remember I said um, we're not doing too much widow speak for her. So we're going to shorten the length of the thing from here and then cut it out. Okay, so you guys, we're going to be filling this bald spot. So I have some of the hairs I cut out. Then I'm going to ask her to just bend down a little and then start filling them in. So I'll be doing one strand. So now we're going to do for all this part. 
So the idea for reventilating or filling balls well, so that by the time we brush the hair backward and use our nail spray, it gives us this it's her hair illusion. So So what I'm trying to do is I'm not putting them close to each other. So I just pull one and go somewhere else and put another one. So that way it looks canty. Okay guys, so we have light now. Let me cover her so I can stop putting strands of hair on oh. her fine skin. Yes. Okay, so you guys were going to be filling in the space with glue. So it's better to have less glue and the lace is out there than you having um, plenty glue and you're trying to clean it up. I'm going to carefully Issa, huh? I'm live on YouTube. So I'm just trying to put more glue on this part uh, open. Please, when you're putting this, or when you're doing this rather, try to make sure it stays inside. Let it not come out to this part, because once makeup touches it, it's going to turn white. So that's why you see most times when you see some frontals on Instagram, it's good though, but because of that line, it just turns you off. So the reason is because the glue extended to where it's supposed to stay. I hope that makes sense. So doing frontal is like handling a baby. You just have to be extremely careful so that everything can look seamless afterwards. So to save yourself that stress from cleaning and all that, me I would advise you lay a good foundation so that it will give afterwards. So feel free to cross check, you press down and try and lift it up like this so if you see any parts that needs more glue you just go over it and apply the glue okay so guys we're done with that one so um before i use my melt spray i like to tie this down with my customized band from CC bonnet, African CC bonnet. I keep forgetting that. Please, can you help me? Mm -hmm. So, one good thing about this um, thing is it has a strap and it has a foam for the ear, but I don't know why I'm not using the foam today. It's still finished because I know Nelly, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you guys, we're just going to tack this down to her her hair so 
So, but before that, I'm going to reduce the, the lace. So the last time I used this hair, I realized that it was popping out. So I didn't want that to happen today. So I'm just going to cut out the excess lace from the front wall. So as I'm cutting, I'm not going close to where the hair was ventilated because by the time you cut it close to it, that's where the front will start spoiling from. You just, sorry, I'm just going to pull it like this and then use the needle to stitch. So there's something I like to do. New needles for new clients all the time. So it's the same needle I used to apply the glue to fill in those parts that didn't get glue. That's the same needle I'm using to like stitch. So I'm using the bottom of the needle to stitch it so I don't prick her. So you guys accept my apology. I'm going to be doing the other side off camera. Okay, so you guys, since we're not using um, dryer and all, I try to make sure I smoothen this thing very well with my rattle comb. So I'm also going to, you know, pair it up or support it with my brush and my cold spray. So, yes. So you guys can melt. We've not even done a melt spray and it's it has melted. So let's try and take in all the strands on her face. So like I can't believe I am doing like Hilda, like breaking records. How dare me install a frontal without light? No, 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 like, how dare me, no, how dare me, see now. So, Issa, do you think we should put part? Let's see. Come, boy, come from the side. No, as you're doing makeup, are you tired? Yes, no. So, um, apparently, the ponytail will take me two minutes to install. I'm not joking. I think the American thing is joking. I'm talking to all of us. I'm not joking. Okay, so you guys, I'm going to be using the Love Beauty Melt Spray. So to tame down the, head, the edges, I'm going to start from here and just sweep it backward. So since we're doing a ponytail, don't worry, the, the spray can touch the other strands, so it's not a problem. So we're just going to follow it like this. So as you're doing it, make sure you always press down the lace so you don't lift it. So you guys, I'm so proud of myself, yeah? The way I followed Nelly's hairline here. Mm. Come on. The thing enter. Uh -huh. so we're just going to take it like this. And press.
So the milk spray. So it's okay to even stand in front to make sure you are doing the right thing. So you just follow up. So nobody will believe this front hall has been used before. So that's one thing about a very good, like when you customize the hair very well. So before we use our melt spray on the lace, we're just going to cross check to see if I like um, the way I do the placement with uh, my brush. So but if I don't, I'm just going to readjust just like I'm doing and make sure everything is tamed down properly. Okay. I have to bring my camera close so you guys can see this. So I'm going to tap, like spray here and then use my hand to like Tap it down. Hmm? Anyway. <laughs> so, so why I'm spraying it here and then using my hand to like move it forward is because I don't want it to like roll down to her face because once it does that makeup thing the white whitish thing after makeup we're going to see it so because i'm trying to avoid that that's why i'm just using my hand to like pat it so it can enter very well okay so let's do this other side So I'm going to quickly get my wipes because this one is about to run down. Okay, so now I'm going to get my band and then tie it down. for a few minutes and I'll release it a bit so we're just going to comb it in okay so I'm going to just use my melt spray on the the hair like this so um i just noticed something is going wrong here so i'm going to take out the earring and then try to put the lace the what's it called the band on the lace Okay, so you guys, I just adjusted and we're going to tie now.
So I'm going to get my spray on this. And just spray like that. Then brush. So there's no hot comb needed. Ah, Guinness, where are you? See you. Oh, I've done what Hilda has done. I challenged myself. It's not a task. For this cooking, it's not a task. And we, we can't even cook here. We're, we're tired. Filling egg is a task. Cooking says it takes, you must be in a good mood. Okay, so you guys, we have to change our battery and we're back. So let's continue from where we stopped. Okay, so I think I'll need to brush the hair down very well because after I plot, I am seeing those Aju Aju. You're not evil. You don't know what Aju is, but uh, you do? Oh, yeah. So let's just loosen it up a bit so it can give us this clean finish. So there's something I like to do here. Yeah? I like to use my melt spray on this part so that it can blend into the person's natural hair. So it gives you that it's her hair. She just packed her hair to get. So you see what I mean? Right here, you guys just blended into it. So we're going to repeat the same thing for this other side. So we're going to tie now. Driving through days and nights. Won't stop for traffic lights. So to tame, I'm going to use my melt spray. I just spray it all over like this. So for this part, I like to use my rat tail comb because it has this sharp, sorry you guys. So for this part, I like to use my rat tail comb because it has this sharp end. So it's going to like dig into the hair so that once I'm trying to, once I'm slicking it backward or down, it's going to dig in and then lay down really well. So this is what I mean. See? Nice. So let's do this part. Sorry. I don't know what's going on. Look at that. So to now seal it up, I'm going to spray one more time to seal it all up and then run my comb like this. So you guys, I'm going to be using my wrap paper to tie it down. Remember, we're not using hand dryer, so we just want everything that will make it as flat as possible. So, just tie it down behind. By the way, I got this wrap paper over two years ago because I bought a lot of them from Omar 
week two so i'm going to leave a link to their instagram in the description below so now we're going to just break this one sorry So we're going to break this down like so. Just do the calabar they call it. <laughs> oh. So I'll be stopping where Nelly's natural hair stops because um, I want volume for this hair. So we're going to break down and then take out the thread that we used to tie earlier, knot it like this. So that's it. So we're going to be cutting out the excess thread. So that when you're brushing it, your comb doesn't um, get stuck in it. So, this is it. Okay, so guys, we're going to be working with this extension. I've used the hell out of this extension, but we just want something that will match this. So I'm going to be pairing it up with a brown tone, like a natural brown tone. So by the time we mix it up, it's going to give us a very fine blend. So first we're going to start with this one. So I'm going to just fold it like this and then start sewing. So for ponytails, like, um, this kind of ponytails, I don't like to over sew because I mean, it's going to be very hard to take out. Before you know it, when they are trying to take it out, if you're not the one taking it out, you they will end up spoiling the extension by cutting. So I'm going to stitch the first two lines and then wrap around without stitching. So I'm going to wrap like maybe four to five, depending on the mood. Then as time goes on, I can now stitch more if I want to. Ponytail for me, I think is one of the most simplest hair and people still mess up when they do it so if this is your first time here on my channel don't forget to give it a very big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and um, share this video with your friends and also no i didn't say that right So if this is your first time on my channel, don't forget to subscribe before you leave and give this video a very big thumbs up. Like my other videos, watch them, share them with your friends because you know like I always say, sharing is caring. And also don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you always be notified whenever I post a video. So we're going to get this natural toned one and then attach it to this and then start sewing so as we go it's going to be blending in to give us um, this shade we have up here so I'm actually doing this thing on purpose so that we can achieve what we're looking for So it's kind of difficult for me because I'm standing on one end and not moving around so I'm actually struggling. I wish I'm standing in front of it but I mean I love you guys so that's why I have to just stand by the side so you can see what I'm doing.
we're going to stop now and then stitch before we continue. Okay, so I have some of the hair here. We're going to continue. So I just like to put it like this and then tuck it down. So um, another thing I forgot to share with you guys, when you want the pony to be very long, you might have to now attach, um, what's it called? Attachment to the braids. Then you make it very long so now you're going to start sewing from down so there's no point leaving um some of the extensions like i did mine because um you want it to be lengthy And Guinness has not Guinness has not called this thing. I'm sure they would call her. It's a better deal. Me, I did not watch that thing because I know myself I'll not start thinking about my life. No. That's Instead you just use it and ginger yourself, do you get? Okay, so you guys, we're going to be making the band. So all we need for the band is your rattle comb, got to be gel, and um, bobby pins with a brush, an edge control brush. So we're going to take out small hair from the side and then comb it out. So once you comb it out, you're going to now carefully walk this round like this and make sure it's sitting down well where it's supposed to be so this is how you make the band so i'm not going to be using bobby pin for this because she's just going to have this hair for the shoot so she might end up taking it out Later, or she will take it out later today, so there's no point using body pins for this. So, you put more gel, then do this like that, and put more gel so it can hold down very well. Yes, please. Uh, we don't open on Sunday. Now step aside. Don't cover my shine. My fate is my time. So you guys, before we hand her over to the makeup artist, let's see the lace. So, bend your hair down. Good. So you guys, you see the melt? It's melting. <laughs> 